um, what you have here are two trig equations and you have to solve them basically so let's take a look if you look at this equation here and compare it to this second equation you see that in the second equation uh, you just have cosine 2x and sine 2x so the strategy would be to convert tan 2x into sine 2x over cosine 2x and I'm going, going to do that just below this problem but before we do that notice that in part B they're asking to solve this equation so what they're really doing is they're setting you up for how to do that and you're going to solve this equation circle in red by using that so let's go ahead and see how we do that okay so tan of 2x equals 5 sine 2x well you know that tangent is sine over cosine so let's rewrite this as sine of 2x over cosine of 2x equals 5 sine 2x um, it's always advisable to get rid of the denominator so let's cross multiply and you get sine 2x equals 5 sine 2x times cosine 2x well you can see you have all the elements that you need in B so let's just scroll up to that so I've got sine and cosine and all I need to do is make that equal to 0 so let's bring the right hand side over to the left hand side and we get sine 2x minus 5 sine 2x cosine 2x equals 0 sine 2x oops uh, let's undo that sine 2x is a common factor in both these terms so take it out as a common factor when you do that you get sine 2x 1 minus 5 cosine 2x equals 0 so this is part A so far in part B you are going to use this equation to solve for x remember when you mult if you have a times b equals 0 then either a is 0 or b is 0 or both are 0 so applying that concept here you can say sine 2x equals 0 or 1 minus 5 cosine 2x equals 0 and when you're solving for angles it is useful to go back to this little chart here uh, I remember this as all students take calculus and what that means is in quadrant 1 all angles are positive in quadrant 2 sine is positive in quadrant 3 tangent is positive and cosine um, is positive in four so each angle is positive in quadrant one and another ang another quadrant so sine of 2x equals 0 you say 2x equals sine inverse 0 you do that on your calculator and you'll get 2x equals 0 which means x equals 0 this is your solution in the first quadrant now sine is also positive in quadrant 2 uh, and if x is the reference angle then you get 180 minus x equals 0 so 180 um, let me take that back Thank you. 
Okay, uh, let me just go back a little bit over here. If 2x equals sine inverse 0, then either 2x equals 0 or 2x equals 180 minus 0. So either x is 0 or x is 90. Don't be um, sort of distracted by the 2 over here. Just think of this as one angle. So either the angle is 0 or it's um, 180 minus 0. Uh, I would check this solution uh, x equals 90 um, carefully. And now let's look at the second part of the equation. We get Okay, now we need to go ahead and solve 1 minus 5 cosine 2x equals 0. So um, we could subtract 1 from both sides. That would give us negative 5 cosine 2x equals negative 1. Divide both sides by negative 5. and you get um, cosine of 2x equals 1 over 5. So that cancels, that cancels, the negative becomes a positive. Uh, 2x is equal to cosine inverse of 1 over 5. And that gives us, uh, and cosine is um, positive in the fourth quadrant. You are only a being asked to give um, solutions between 0 and 180. So we don't need to worry about the fourth quadrant here. We get cosine inverse of 1 fifth. Um, I'm going to just, okay, let me move this down a bit and check on my calculator. Cosine inverse of 1 divided by 5. That gives me... 2x is equal to 78.46 divide by 2 divide by 2 and I get x equals 39.23 since they ask for the answer in uh, to one decimal place x equals 39.2 degrees